All right, YouTube, your boy Slim is back with another cigar review, and today we are gonna be smoking on, I guess you call this the Master Blender Juan Flores. Let's go ahead and get into it. So today I'm going to be smoking on this Master Blender Juan Flores and pretty much, you know, if you've been following me now on Instagram, you know that uh, my wife is from Miami and we've been down there for the past week, you know what I'm saying, getting the kids out the house, you know, letting them enjoy some time with a family that has been uh, like quarantining away from everybody else like we have. Then my wife and I, we took a trip down there to the Keys, but on the way back, I hit up my favorite uh, cigar lounge, you know what I'm saying, in Miami. That's pretty much just like right around the corner from uh, my family's house. So, you know what I'm saying, like whenever wife, kids, they're doing their thing or whatever, I always dip over there, you know what I'm saying? They got a bones table right in the door. They play big nine, you know what I'm saying? You know, I always like doing that too, but I'm from the country, we play sixes. So it was a learning curve actually, uh, learning how to play those nines, but hey, you know what? Your boy's good at it, but either way, you know what I'm saying? That's another here nor there, but I'll probably drop some pictures in there because hey, that's my life. And I uh, actually had a good time down there fishing in the Keys. So, but as you can see, uh, I'm not too sure what's going on with that cap, but you know, it's pretty much firmly packed, kind of soft, you know, um, I don't know. I guess we're getting like, I don't know, like wood, leather, not really much coming up off of this. You know what I mean? And uh, to be honest, I looked online, I couldn't even find um, anything about the binder, wrapper, and filler. All I knew is they said the uh, Master Blenders Nicaragua, and that's pretty much it. So without further ado, it's my favorite part of the day. Let's go ahead and get some cut up. Well, you know what? I'm using this bead cut a lot. I think I'm gonna do a straight cut. So let's go ahead and get it cut up. A draw Not too much on there actually. Bands actually loose, kind of sliding, but I don't know, it tastes like leather and earth. Well, let's go ahead and write it up. Kind of uh, faint on the pepper right now. Hmm. I don't really know what to think about that. Just wood, earth, leather, spice, kind of faint. You know, kind of lingering on the tongue, but I don't really know what to think about it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let it warm up some and I'll uh, get back at you. All right. All right, YouTube, I am back on this uh, One Flores Master Blender. And you know, old boy in the lounge said it's uh, supposed to be medium plus the fuel. I mean, right now it's not nowhere near that. I mean, it is pretty much a, uh, just a medium cigar right now. I paid about $8.50 for this Robusto. It's not bad, but I mean, right now, I'm just getting <clears throat> that leather and woodiness. It's kind of died down, it's kind of faint. Getting a little bit of aged tobacco sweetness uh, lingering there on the finish, but the spice. Spice is pretty faint. Retro Hell is not burning. <laughs> Picking up a little bit of cocoa on that probably. But I mean, other than that, you're getting a little bit of aged sweetness. I think that leatherness has probably changed it to like some coffee or something. 
but I mean, it's uh, not really much going on. And um, I wish there was like something else, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like with it, it's uh, to see it so much, you know what I'm saying? On Instagram and everything like that, you know, I thought it would uh, start off a little bit different, but. I mean, really creamy smooth finish, but kind of buttery. I mean, other than that, not really much going on. So you got a little bit of chocolate creaminess, a little bit of maybe sweetness, like I use tobacco right now, kind of faint. Spice is uh, really faint, but uh, I'm gonna keep on smoking it down, get into that first third a little bit more, and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. But I mean, right now you got some really uh, good ash on it. Not flaky or anything. Burn law is not uh, razor sharp, but it's holding tight. So I'll keep on smoking it down, get into that first third, and I'll get back with you. All right. All right, so I am back and uh, pretty much, I mean, I will admit the aromatics on this thing is, is very musty. I mean, very musty, but um, that spice, it, it hasn't picked up any, any much since, uh, you know, I first lit it up. I'm starting to get into that second, third. Hasn't picked up anymore. It's um, actually, the smoke is kind of chewy, you know, but it's giving that uh, like orange pill taste on the finish. You know what I mean? But it's still like medium body, medium strength. It, I don't know if it's gonna pick up going into that last third. I'll go ahead and take this band off. But I mean, other than that, it's, um, it's not really, I don't think it's too complex. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you got like those uh, woody earthy notes, you know, you got a little bit of sweetness in there. I don't think it's aged tobacco actually, you know, but um, other than that, it's uh, it's not really too much going on with it. Either way, I mean, the ass just tipped off, you know, the burn line, it's, uh, it's a little wavy, but it's still holding, holding tight. I haven't had to touch it up any. So probably what I'll do, I'll keep on smoking it down, getting to that second, third, and I'll uh, get back with you on my flavor notes. But I mean, it's, um. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, the draw is uh, it's not loose and it's not too tight. It's like right in between there, but it's uh, it was kind of a squishy or soft before. And I mean, it's like getting even more there now. But I mean, other than that, I'll keep on smoking it down and I'll get back with you on my flavor notes. All right. I am back on this uh, one Flores Master Blender. And as you can see, I mean, the, the ash is still holding tight. You know what I mean? The burn line, it's a little, it's been wavy at times. It's self-corrected. I haven't had to touch it up still, but it's just been wavy in and out. I mean, it's not flaky or anything like that, but I mean, other than that, it's, um, it's a uh, turning out to be, I mean, to be honest, it's turning out to be a, a pretty average uh, cigar. I mean. Yeah, I mean, you're getting like those coffee, cocoa sweetness notes on there. You're getting a little bit of that orange peel bitterness on there. The spice still hasn't picked up, although I thought it did a little bit, but I mean, it's still in that medium, anywhere from medium to medium plus, I guess, depending on your palate. For me, it's like a medium cigar. I mean, the finish is still creamy and smooth, you know, not really much going on there, but a, like some, uh, Maybe that leatherness has started coming back and I'm really not a fan of that. But I mean. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what to think about this cigar. I mean, it costs like $9 for a Robusto. I mean, it's burning well, but uh, I'm just not really picking up much from it. But I mean, other than that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue smoking it down, give an honest review of it. So get into that last third and uh, I'll get back with you on my flavor notes. All right. All right, YouTube, I am back on this one and I, I got a little while to go. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little while to go, but um, I mean, honestly, getting into that last third, I don't think it's gonna change much. I'm still picking up the uh, 
the same flavor notes I picked up in the first third and the second third. And the, what I wrote down here is that it is a consistent cigar with the same pretty much flavor notes from beginning to end. It's not going to transition much. You're not going to get much spice. And uh, I mean, the, the flavor notes, I, I, I don't know if they uh, go with my palate, but uh, it, it may go with yours. So if you've had this cigar before, you know what I mean? Go ahead and uh, leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts on it. You know what I'm saying? While you're already here and you're watching it, don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to smoke this down a little bit more, and I'll get back with you on my final thoughts on it. All right. I am back with my final thoughts on this one Flores Master Blender in a Robusto. Like I said, the price is going to cost you about $9 or whatever, depending where you got it. Like I said, I got it from my uh, cigar lounge down there in Miami, Cigar Ashes in the lounge. You know, like I said, that's my favorite spot down there. But uh, anyway, as far as the con appearance of construction, I'm going to give it 12 out of 15. As far as the flavor, you can, uh, I would say probably a 21, 22 out of 25. It's consistent with the same flavor notes throughout. It really didn't change much. You know, everything I got in the first third, like I was saying, I got all the way to the end. As far as the smoking characteristics, I'm gonna give it probably a 23 out of 25. I mean, it became wavy at times, but it self-corrected. I didn't have to touch it up or anything. The draw was pretty good on it, although it got loose at times. But I mean, overall, I'm gonna give it 31 out of 35. So overall, as a score, it's gonna be an 88 out of 100. I mean, depending on how you see it, that's good or bad up to you. But I mean, like I was saying, if you've had this cigar, definitely let me know your thoughts on it. But I mean, other than that, that's all the smoke on this one Flores Master Blender. All right.